Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Sacritus, which is an RPG Maker body horror game where every Halloween, someone must give up their face to God. It's that time of year again. Every morning on October 31st, someone is randomly selected from the billions of humans on Earth to be token of our atonement for past mistakes. They're forced to become a Let's Player. Each year, the same message is broadcasted on every radio and news channel. The legend says that 55 years ago, a man tricked our benevolent god into giving them their face in exchange of a moral body. But little did the god know, humans aren't bound to their words. The god being stripped of their face was thrown into a fierce rage, leading to the destruction of everything in their way. It's a real face-off. In a state of panic from the crumbling world, the government made a deal with the god. Assuring that once every year, a human will sacrifice their face to prevent another tragic disaster. Despite knowing the history behind this dreadful event, it never felt like a threat to anyone knowing the low chance of anyone getting chosen. Which is what you also thought, before your name and face were flashing on the television in front of you. You just chose me because I'm pretty. Oh wow, you really do need a face, don't you? They weren't kidding. It took facing what you feared the most for the realization to set in. Your life will never be the same from now on. All your sacrifices and all your worries felt meaningless, all because of a story that had nothing to do with you. Any normal person would be filled with regret or sorrow, but all you had was rage. You are shaking. You do know I am not here to end your life. You are fighting a noble cause. The whole world will be thankful for your negligible sacrifice. You try to put on a brave face, but the truth is you're scared of losing yourself more than anything. Please don't do this. My face is the only thing I really have. You have to rethink this. Are you really trying to bargain with a god that lost their everything? Please, I can be useful in other ways. I'd do anything to keep my face. Or are you really willing to do anything just to keep a temporary part of yourself? Yes. If you are really that determined, I have a task for you. In exchange of keeping your face, the god made you a proposal. Bring me the faces of three different people, and I'll let you go back where you came from. And so you went, on your journey to find your replacements. I just go back and be like, all right, you know what? Change my mind, take my face. No. So this god lives in a meat cave. Interesting. This painting won't let me in. Is this like Mario 64? I'm sorry, it's a terrible comparison, but still, we gotta hop in the paintings. This painting won't let me in. Well, the fish world will let me in. Hey. I do not get visitors often, but I'm also lonely. Are you here to keep me company, little one? I'm in need of urgent help. Could you please help me? What is it that you would need from a being such as myself? I have very little belongings and restricted movements. I need your face. Could you please give it to our god? You want me to give my face to your deteriorating god? What would I get out of that disadvantageous situation? Anything. I'm ready to give anything. If you're really willing to give anything up, we could find a common ground. As you can see, my movements are very limited because of my lack of arms. In exchange of my face, could you give me one of your arms? Give up on arm? If that's really what you want, I'm ready to give it to you. I'm brave of you. But I would close my eyes if I were you. It might sting. <laughs> it stung like hell! The slight sting was more comparable to excruciating pain, but it was your choice. You wake up in front of the painting. Your job here is not done. Look, they have arms. Well, they have my arm now. Just looking at this painting makes your skin crawl. 
Okay, it loops back in. Now, what would you want? Because you guys are kind of lacking faces in the first place, unless you count rags as faces. Hello, can you hear me? I need your help. We are not interested. Please let us be. This is important. Please hear me out. I need you to give your face to my god. Why would we ever change our routine just to help someone we don't know? Especially when you're doing it for your own selfish desires. I do anything to get what I want, and I need your help. What do we get in exchange for helping a human like you? I'll sacrifice anything, so please, just help me out. And when you say anything, do you really mean it? If you're honest with the words you throw, we have one request. We want to finally be able to see ourselves, the world around us. Would you help us by giving us your eye? Give up your eye. I've already gone too far. There's no going back now. There was no warning. It was swift and merciful. But that didn't stop you screaming from the overwhelming pain. It still aches. And what would you all want? My legs? Please give me your face. That is very direct. Why do you wish to have my face? You don't need to know. I don't have any more time to lose. What do you want in exchange of your face? What would I want in exchange of my entire face? I have everything I need. Including this great leaf. There has to be something you wish. No one has everything. Would me giving up my face make you happy? What? Let's exchange your happiness for my face. You've been through so much. Giving a little part of me is not much. Well, if you say so. This one's gonna hurt the most. Why do we have to go through here? Are you the person taking our happiness? Oh, you're finally here. I've been expecting you for a while now. It's so sad that someone like me has to stay all alone here. Don't you think? Are you the person who took the god's face in the first place? Oh, I so wish I wasn't forced to stay in this place. I miss my family, you know. It would be so sweet of you to help me go back outside. Could you help me, dear? What do I have to do? You're more cooperative than I could have wished for. So lovely of you. But either way, it's a win-win situation for both of us. I get out, and you get to keep your face. Isn't that why you're doing all this in the first place? So what is your plan exactly? Oh, it's nothing difficult, don't you worry. I always have everything planned. See this knife? It's the same knife that was used to remove the god's face. All you have to do is use it against them, and they'll disappear forever. You will be free. And when do you get out of this exactly? Oh, I have my reasons. All you need to know is that it would be inconvenient for me too. I wouldn't stay here longer if I were you. I know you'll miss me, but don't worry. We will see each other sooner than you think. Can I really trust them? Probably not. So were you actually the third painting? And the third painting was a kind of, uh... How we describe a, uh... Do it? Yes. Yeah, so it was like a weird hideout? Let's see, are you still here? All we do is just murder you. Oh, I think you can murder everyone. After all that he did to me, they don't deserve forgiveness. This is a multiple ending game, if you can't guess, by the way. I, I don't know, I'm not really sure what ending I'm going on.
What a waste of resources. Even I wouldn't do something so spiteful. And that's saying something. There, there, don't cry. I'm still here, you see. You can still make things alright. Is that true? Of course it is. You know I never lie. New N, 3 out of 3. Hmm. It must be a different way. Show you everything, King of Conditions. Humans never change. Come back to me when you realize the choices and yours to make. So you do have to like... It looks like you do have to give up your arm to the fish. That was you say I can't do this to them. We don't need you either. Pretty simple, straight to the point. Give up your eye. I have returned with all the faces you asked for. Can I go home now? I see you are ready to make unspeakable sacrifices just to keep something you deem of higher value. Humans very fail to amaze me. The only true parasites of the earth. I did what had to be done. Let me go now. As much as your futile attempts to follow a simple order are amusing, you did not do what I asked you to. You've only brought me shapeless masses of faces that are not even remotely human. Either it was because of your own negligence, or human your nature, to always assume anyone who isn't you is ignorant. You have failed your task, and for that reason you will have to suffice. You have to be joking! I did all this for nothing! Didn't you say it was your choice? Everything up to here was from your own volition. I hope you do realize that. No! No, this can't be happening! And yet, it is too late. And just like that, you lost way more than you could have ever imagined. You desperately tried to scream or open your eyes, but it all amounts to nothing. All your features and sensations become a blur. Feelings you never felt before were boiling inside of you. You didn't do anything wrong. Or at least you thought so. Normal end. So we're going to, uh... Stab God, apparently. He didn't hesitate a second before striking. It was finally the end of his torture. You will be able to restart your life normally. Go back and forget all of this. But you know that's a lie. There's no escaping this damnation. But as you slowly open your eyes, you stand horrified yet mesmerized at the sight of... Are those... Yeah, I did know us. There was butterflies on the other people we stabbed, too. You'd even get a chance to finish your sentence when the mass of butterflies approached you, looking for a new host. You tried to scream in fear as the obligation of all their faces invaded your system, but it was too late. You heard the pleads and cries of forgotten features in your head, but your torment was distracted by a familiar voice and a hand on your shoulder. You look relieved to see me. That makes me so happy. Thank you for helping me. Now we both have what we wish for. Isn't that exciting? You get countless faces, and I get freedom of consequences. This is the best outcome, I promise you. Please help me. No, no. Why the sad look blasting on your faces? You're way more useful like this. They reach out and rest on your back. This is so amusing. Your eyes lose focus as a stranger rambles about themselves. This is a very weird ending. How did it come to this? You are also holding a white flower or leaf. Happy end. Uh, not for me. That was a weird game. Uh, this was part of a uh, Halloween game jam from last year, actually. So I appreciate the art. The art has a very good style. And I actually appreciate the premise. Now, it's a little too short for its premise because of the game jam format. And it's a little confusing, and I'm trying to piece together my head. Because I, I I am seeing different themes here, and I'm trying to think, like, what is the actual main theme, right? So, the figure that takes the face of God seems to be a Luciferian figure. Well, I suppose they are human, possibly. Well, who knows? Uh, and we do know that they lie. And they always say, oh, I never lie. And then 
humans always lie, I guess, or this, at least this individual always lies. And they take a round in the ending where you get revenge with the knife rather than go after the god of the knife. But if you stand with the god of the knife, all the faces absorb into you. So there's some, there's some symbolism going on here. And I don't think it's like a flat, like, religious symbolism thing. I'm, I'm trying to think... Does it have to do with, like, sense of self, sense of group? Does it have to do with sacrificing your sense of self to, say, fit in with the group, hence what all the faces absorb into you? Is it a religious symbolism, where a religion supplants another religion? Uh, there were some loose connections to a, a story, I think I remember, where the person keeps sacrificing parts of themselves to, like, things they meet, you know, about giving too much, about being too nice. In this case, you're not necessarily being too nice, you're trying to get their faces also. But I don't know. This is one of those like little short indie games I have to like sit down and think about. It's not one of those things I can like make an answer right away. Sometimes I come up with more answers as I do my editing, as I go over things, I'll kind of think about it. Or sometimes I see like more comments that are like, ah, maybe that's an interesting of a point. You're all welcome to put your take on it, because I think there's really multiple angles you can attack the storyline on. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching play Sacrifice. I think that's how you say that name. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.